Hello everyone. It's me, Infinite Designer. This is the part 16 of our series where I will teach you the entire Alight Motion app from zero to infinity. So, let's begin. Today, we are going to learn about repeat. So this is the shape that I have today. So our first effect is called grid repeat. Here you can set the number of copies by adjusting count. You can make this type of grid by adjusting position. If you increase or decrease the value of stagger, then every second row will be moved like this. Next option is Range Transform. Here you can transform the grid by options like Offset, Angle, Scale and Alpha. These options will be applied gradually from bottom to top. Look here, the lower squares are fading more than the upper squares. This will happen in all the options in Range Transform. Next you have Fill Color. Here you can fill any color into your shape. But here also it will be filled from bottom to top. If you enable the Alternate Copies option, then the color will be filled alternatively like this. Next option is range. Here you can actually animate this grid. Suppose I bring the grid down by offset. Now, if I increase the start value, then the grid will be animated. You can make this animation smooth by easing bars. You can adjust the overlap value also. You will get an option of random order also. The next effect is called Linear Repeat. Here you will get copies in a linear line. You can adjust the direction of this line 
by adjusting the position. Every other options are similar to the previous effect. Next effect is Radial Repeat. Here your object will be repeated in a circular shape. You can adjust the radius of the circle. You can change the orientation and angle of the object also. You can shrink the circle by sweep option. Remaining all the options are similar to the previous effects. Next effect is Repeat. This effect is very similar to the Linear Repeat effect. Now for next effect, I have this path here, which is created by vector drawing tool. This path layer must be below the object layer to apply this effect. The effect is called repeat along path. Here the copies will be made as per the shape of the path. You can animate this by using start and end options. You can make a continuous animation by phase option. By tangent option, your copies will be adjusted as per the shape of the path. Next effect is Scatter Field. Here you can make this type of 3D field which has the main object like this. You can adjust the density of copies. 
you can make them move also by evolution. By size variance, you can adjust the size difference of copies. By angle variance, you can adjust the angle differences of copies. If you decrease the fade option to zero, then all the copies will be visible similarly. To create a depth, increase the fade like this. You will get some color options also by which you can actually set the color of the copies like this. The last effect is called Scatter Repeat. Here your copies will be generated randomly like this. You adjust them by radius and evolution. So these are all the effects that we have in repeat effects in a light motion.